what what kind of like different but i'm sure you've had levels of you know being proud of yourself and your artistry but what level of proud are you with this particular project i'm very proud you, you know what i'm saying because um you know in the midst of you know me multitasking um you know i get a chance to kind of uh, live a double life. I mean, like because we're we're also celebrating the 25th anniversary of Goody Mob. Yes. And, and also we, uh, you know, we're doing new music as we speak. So like I'm an unsigned artist, but my namesake is like Cache. You know what I'm saying? So with that, I'm able to kind of you know not only get what I deserve, but get what I negotiate. So therefore, yes. I like to call it my one man Wu Tang. You know, yes. I, I can do different things and and you know sim simultaneously. So uh -huh. therefore, with this, I'm proud. I'm proud of that professional disposition. You know, but I'm also proud that on both occasions, I've done music that I could act my age and I can grow old gracefully with. Yes. See, that's good. Sometimes folks don't need, some folks need to just chill out. You can't still talk about the same thing you were talking about in 1995. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> You know I mean, yeah, because cause, cause, cause Dre said it best. You're only funky as your last cut. That's you focus right. on the past, it'll be your ass, but ass come on. Don't nobody want to be a ass, but so you have to constantly evolve. <laughs> yes, yes. You know, you know what I think? I think um, people would much rather um, see evolution is a straight line. Um, you know, uh, season and season is circular. So therefore, you can go round and round. I'm saying, like you know, but I think people are are scared of that straight line because it compels you, you know, and draws you closer to God, to your Creator. So people are afraid of evolution. I'm saying, like you know, be, because you have to take responsibility and accountability for for your own actions and for you know, what I'm saying, like what you portray and what you say. You know what I mean, yeah. like and and what you've done. You know what I'm saying, like you know, because you, you know you, you'll be. You'll be judged by those things. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, you yeah. Know, you know, so I think that I think that apprehension causes people to stand still. You know what I mean? Like, you know, uh, and you know, it's 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 incapacitating for people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But but you can't be afraid. All you can do, you know what I'm saying, like, is you know, basically use your mortality as a motivation. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, you know what I mean? Like um, yeah. know, know that there is no no way, no physical way to go backwards. I mean, we can only go forwards. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, it is an inevitability. So therefore, you cannot live in denial. You must do better. You know what I'm saying? But first, you must know better. So therefore, when I got the mic in my face, I just try to at least express the ideology and the alternative, and maybe somebody can adopt or borrow from it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And in that, you know what I'm saying? Like, some goodness will come from me because I'm still, I'm trying to save myself as well. So that's why mm -hmm. I have to do the diligence. So this is a civil service and a social service whenever I talk, and that's it's become customary, you know, a part of my conversation. And you know me, you know that. So I yeah. have to be consistent. Yeah. So, so I mean, back in the day, like you were never afraid of evolution. What, where did that come from? Where did that foundation of not being afraid to walk the walk, regardless of the noise around you? Where did that come from? Uh, because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm grounded in the faith. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, um, uh, my mustard seed is, you know, like has been, you know, it, it, it sprouted up out of that dirt, you know, up out of the mud. You know what I mean? Like, so therefore, you know, people don't know my backstory, but my mother and father were both ministers. So I've been surrounded and shrouded and, uh, you know, um, just, uh, uh, you know, it kept and protected and covered by the faith. And so therefore, you know, on this journey, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I've, God has made himself apparent to me on so many occasions. I've seen miracle after miracle, you know what I mean? Yes. Like, in my in my life, you know what I mean? And so therefore, like, um, I've tried to be intelligent enough, and my prayer is for discernment, trying to see things that are deceiving, that are detrimental, that would derail, you know what I mean, like the purpose that God has on me. And of course, we all fall short of the glory of God. You, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, we get up and we stay motivated and we continue to go. I mean, there's yeah. no choice. You know what yeah. I mean? So, um, so with that, you know what I mean? Like, um, I know even in all my conscious effort to try to evade certain things, I mean, like, you must, you will probably more so and more often have to endure than you can ever evade. Because, Ooh. you know, because, you know, certain trial and error and obstacles are there for you to, to, to compel the character out of you. You know what mm -hmm, I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you know, that's what that's what life is all about. And I just feel like 
I'm getting better and better and better. You know what I'm saying? Like, and do, I do believe that life, you know, its purpose, you know what I mean? Like, is to earn an ultimate, an, an ultimate transition. I'm not going to say death, you know what I'm saying? Like, because doing doesn't die. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I mean, I feel like I'm, I'm just writing down lyrics, straight lyrics <laughs> from your conversation. But you uh, know what, though? It's, it's because I appreciate you. And I know that your listeners and your followers, they, they, they're there. I mean, like, you know, the numbers speak for themselves. And so this is an opportunity, man. Like, you know, if I can, you know, uh, interject in a, in, a, in a way and be a blessing to somebody today while we're sitting dormant and idle, you know what I'm like, which would ultimately become the devil's playground. You know what I'm saying? So, like, let's make some, let's make some, 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 some quality time, some constructive, you know what I mean? Like usage of our, of the breath that's still in our bodies right now. You know yes, I mean? yes, yes. Because we get, if you woke up today, you get another chance to do it all over again. That's right. And I, you know, I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's the same thing every day. No, you make the experience what it is supposed to be for you, but that's you have right. to choose to do that. That's you right. have to choose to do that. Are you choosing to do different things every day? Are you writing every day? What are you doing differently now that you actually have this solitude, this time? Can I tell you something that's so cool? Like, you know, I live, I live primarily in Miami, but we just happen to be in Atlanta and I'm glad because like me having some type of, you know, vague understanding of, you know, conspiracies and theories and, you know what I mean? Like premonitions and things of that nature. I had always said that if anything like this was ever to transpire in real life, I would want to be somewhere accessible to my family. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So like, um, we have a property out in the country, you know what I'm saying? Like that's more than enough room to seek refuge, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and then also uh, give ourselves a regimen on a daily to get out, walk the, walk the property, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, um, you know, you know, you do it, a, you do it a few times. It, it, it's, it, it, it qualifies as a mile a day. Yeah. You know yeah. So right. do that. And then also my son is uh, so endowed, you know what I mean? Like with such natural talent. So, you know what I mean? Like he's a producer. He's like my, he's like my partner, you know, like, and I've been waiting for this time, like to be with him as an adult. He's 19. So yes. We're, we're sitting around the laptop and the speaker got the mic set up, you know, producing, writing, vibing, laughing, looking at Netflix, you know what I'm saying? Like, why Miss Shawnee, you know what I'm saying? Like when she, she in the cook, she, she making sure we eating good and eating, you know, on a regiment. You know, so we're doing meal prepping. And then sometimes we're even fasting on certain days. Yes. Just to, just to um, to um to subject ourselves to a discipline like, you know what I mean? yes like, the pantry yes. is cool because like we were prepared you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like you know but sometimes we'll just go without okay this is a fasting day okay this next day is an intermittent fasting day where we won't eat till sundown you know what i'm saying like yes. so make each day interesting and um you know it's just it's just you know it just enriches the quality of life you know what i mean like yeah. and the quality of your conversation yes absolutely it's so it's so it's so important uh, I do want you to talk a little bit about, I know you all, you, you and Goody Mob uh, are getting ready for a new album. W what's that sound going to be like? You know, people, people always have their favorite Goody Mob album, their favorite Goody Mob sound. Is it going to be something completely different or what can, what can we, what can we look forward to? Well, um, with me, um, you know, we, we all bring our individual accounts, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, uh, to the table for the collective effort, you know, like to galvanize, I mean, like the power, you know, and so therefore, you know, my notion is for tempo, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I want the album to sound urgent. And so therefore, you know, even though we're from the South and, you know, you know, we like chopped and screwed and we like slow motion and, you know, all that good stuff, you know, to me, I want more up tempo because I believe that we need velocity. You can't, you cannot walk up to a wall and expect to go through it. You got to take off running and hit that thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So you need velocity to destroy what is dividing you from it. Yes. Come on, velocity. What's, your, <laughs> what's the last book you read, CeeLo? What's the last book you read? The last book I read, I think, um, is probably a book called Emotional Intelligence. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all check that out. I'm going mm. I'm, I'm, I'm to post some books on my IG, late, on my IG maybe like, either later today or tomorrow, you know, just since you just kind of, you just gave me that idea, you know, as we, as we just, you know, in that moment, um, yeah. to do that, just kind of like, if that's, you know, people need some, that's a lost art to just pick up a book and read it or get you an audio book. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, but people need to, um, out think their ADD. Yes. This is an yeah. opportunity to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
your attention span extends from you outward this way, right? So it just keeps getting stifled, stifled, stifled. By the time it touches your nose, there's nothing left to do but implode. And mm. that's the reason why people are panicking because we're already suffering as a society with ADD. Yes. Wow. I mean, you're saying so many great things, sir. I just feel like I'm being preached to. Uh, you know, I, I feel like you might be on the pulpits, you know, eventually. But do you, you feel like music has always been your pulpit? Yes. My, my, my mother uh, had always told me that I would minister, you know. Um, but, you know, um, <laughs> I mean, I was, when I was young, I was just so much of a sinner, you know what I mean? Like, as as, as they say, P PKs are, you know what I mean? Like, I was just, I was just quite the innocent. But you know what? I yeah. liked in my childhood to like the draft picks, you know, uh -huh. be like um, of where each 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 supreme power, you know what I mean? Like, whether it be good, whether it be evil, they both acknowledge me as a first round draft pick. They're like, this guy's got heart. You know what I'm saying like. This guy could really, really do some work. You know what I'm saying? Like, if only he would play for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So both powers gave me advantages, and I scored points on both sides of, of it. You know what I mean? Of that circumstance. But I ultimately chose one side. You know what I mean? Like, when that side spared my life. So once, yes. I, was given, once I was given music and I was spared, I said, you know what? I'm just going to commit myself to craft and, and, and go forward for the greater good. And that's, mm -hmm. and that's it. You know? Yeah. Let me ask you this. It might be a hard question. What's your most favorite rap lyric you've ever written? Most favorite rap lyric? Um, I guess right off the top of my mind, I guess I could say get up, get out. Yeah. Um, because that whole verse was so accurate and on point, right on top of the nail. Yes. Right on top of it. Yes. At that time. You know what I'm saying? And um and I and I ended it by saying, I know the Lord ain't brought me this far so he can drop me off here that I make myself clear. Ooh, yes. And that journey is still going for me. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like I committed myself, you know what I mean? Um, an ideal. I immortalized it, you know, that that ideal. And you know, it's a standard of which I have to continue to live by. You know what I mean? Like people hold me accountable. You know what I mean? Like I've mm -hmm. met so many people that said I have, you know save their lives, bless them. People think I'm a saint. People think I'm an alien. People think, you know, all kinds of stuff. I've heard everything. Trust yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. People sit and, but one thing they do know about me is that I'm approachable. You know what I mean? Like, so people get a warm, inviting energy off me and people sit and just talk to me for hours and time. People that miss their plane sitting there talking to me, but I'm talking back. So like, I'll just sit there and get my roses and get my love and it'll just give me an even greater incentive even in that moment to just, you know, uh, you know, put a cherry on top. Say something yeah. else. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, hey, you like that? There's more where that come from. Here, check this out. Blah, 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 yes. Blah, blah, blah. Damn, I love this nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I know. Just got to be real with the people. It's so easy to be real with the people and have a conversation. Because you too. Man, me too. I love people. I love them. I give it all up for people. Let me that's, tell you. That's what I just wish they could just know. I wish people, I wish, you know, that, that was also a part of me on an artistic level of where, like, you know, I kind of, um, I, I, I perpetuated the misunderstanding. I wanted people to be a little confused and thrown off my scent and be like, damn, like, I don't know what he's going to do next. I mean, like, so... Um, but then there's also this other really, you know, sweet spot in me that want people to know everything. I don't want, I don't want no secrets from people. Like, you I mean, like, I yeah. love people that much. I'm almost like, I'm only alive and I'm only, you know, the, the love of the people is my vitality. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Man, that's good. You know, when you were on uh, Magic uh, 107.5975 earlier this week, uh, um, with the whole group on Goody Mob, I, I asked you one question. I want and I want the folks that are here who may not have heard that to to hear the answer to that, so you can bring some clarity to it. But I just feel like Goody Mob, you all were so um, almost your music almost served as a premonition, especially especially that first album, as to what the world is experiencing now. What does it feel like to know that you were kind of at the forefront of that type of knowledge at such a young age? Um. Um, well, the, the energy, you know, um, you know, information is, um, it's an, it's a, it's tangible, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, um, 
So it's like something that it's it's like a not not a not a it's it's attached to me. Like what you call it? What did it say? Symbiote? Like you know? I, have you ever heard that word? Symbiote? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's like that. It's my second skin to know. You know what I'm saying? Like it's kind of what the what the dilemma that Neo in in the Matrix was was confronted with the red or the blue pill. Mm -hmm. Now. Once you know, once you take that 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 uh, the red pill, and you know, you're cursed with knowing. You can never not know. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But if you take the blue pill, then your ignorance will be bliss. But then again, there's also got to be, you know, just by law, by universal law, a repercussion uh, by by way of any decision that you that you make. So even though your ignorance will be bliss, there's still got to be some type of reprimand for making whatever decision that is. Yes. You yes. See what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. So, so with that being said, um, to have that knowledge live in me and breed and multiply in me, um, you know, my cup runneth over. You know what I mean? Like, you know, so uh, the light, you know what I mean? Like uh, the enlightenment, you know, is, is spilling, is spilling out. You know what I mean? Like it's steaming out of my ears. You know what I mean? You feel me? Like I'm speaking it out of my mouth. I'm, I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm walking it by faith. You know what I'm saying? So like it's invigorating. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, yeah. um, I feel, I feel super and I feel natural. Yes. Because you are both. So I'm supernatural. Absolutely. 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 Well, we're going to, uh, man, I, w I wish we could take, can continue this uh, so long. So the new album is June 20. It, it comes out in June. Pre you could pre-order now, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. So folks need to get that. What other what other types of feeling or what types of songs will we will we hear on CeeLo Green is Thomas Calloway? Well, um, I think you know we wanted to kind of revisit that time of those one and a half minute songs, like ah. um, you, know, you know, like the Righteous Brothers, uh, Unchained Melody. Oh my love. Yes, my darling. You know that kind of stuff. So you know, you see, like I can channel it. That that's that's actually my talent. I think I'm an okay singer, but I can summons that spirit. That's actually my talent. You know what I mean? Um, I hear what you're saying, but I don't think you should call yourself an okay singer. That I just okay, <laughs> CeeLo Green. That uh, nothing about you is okay. Sorry. Well, my my I say this my love is greater than my ability. You sound like, but my my ability is catching up to my love. You know what I mean? Yes, I do. Everything you say is lyrical. I just want to be sometime I just want to meet you in the morning and say good morning. Well, good morning. The sun is uh equivalent to the voice in your uh uh, uh I don't know. Give me something. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. No, I just, want, I just want to be a blessing to people. That's all. Yes. And you know, again, when I say Use your mortality as your motivation. It's like, hey, man, we're alive today. You know what I mean? Like, and we've yes. got to acknowledge those who have been stricken by the illness. You know what I mean? Like, and those who have, you know, actually lost their lives. You know what I'm yes. saying? Like, and those who have been um, held in contempt. You know what I'm saying? Like, by their confusion and their paranoia and their fear. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you feel me? And they've been handicapped and they've been incapacitated. You know what I'm saying? Like, we want to free them. We want we want to unlock those shackles around they around their necks and around their minds. You know, this afternoon. You know what I'm saying? Like, with the good news. And that's yes. All I'm and it is the good news. Life is good news. You are good news. The GMO B is good news. Can you show some love to our man Ryan Cameron as he continues to recover, my friend? Come on, you you know we was gonna we was gonna end it off with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? A absolutely. I got so much history with the Ryan King. You know what I mean? Like, you know, he is a pillar in our community. He is yes. a monument. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? And he is a living legend. You know what I mean? And therefore, I have seen him uh do the impossible it was like over and over again and so i do not believe him not coming back at a thousand percent is impossible because amen I amen. amen good well, well we know you, we, 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 we know we know you big brother come on absolutely on. absolutely and i'm gonna stand right here in the gap until he is back in his rightful place so i'm really happy to have had some time with you uh, earlier this week and and uh, and today, Unsung on Sunday. Check that out, Goody Mob. That's at ten o'clock Eastern on TV One. And of course, the brand new album, which you can pre-order. CeeLo Green is Thomas Calloway. It comes out this June, but we're excited for it, and it is going to be amazing. Like everything that you do. Thank you so much for being a blessing to us and for us, sir. Thank you, Queen. I adore you. I adore you too. Give everybody my love. Okay. All right. <laughs>